Good morning. You're in the first clip. <laughs> it was kind of a short night, but Julian is headed to set to be in a movie. I'm pretty excited because <clears throat> there are at least two people involved in this film that were involved in Relative with Gabriel. Head southwest. And my, yeah, my GPS is talking. Um, and, and not only am I excited about that, but I'm excited because, um, turn right. They're filming 1, feet, today. Turn they're right. filming at the place where we performed Matilda because it's supposed to be at a school, um, a high school and that's a high school, but it's, it's exciting because I know where I'm going and I'm familiar ish with, with all of that. Turn right. So true to form, Julian has found a tree and he is going to read in the tree and also true to form. They need more adults to be teachers in the scene that Julian is in. So I am going to be a teacher. I'm going to be a background person. And this way I won't be wasting as much gas. <laughs> so, um, I think that, I think I made the right decision. Yeah. Hello. Your phone, that's your phone yeah, branch? That's my, phone. <laughs> that's my phone branch. Actually, when I'm climbing, that's the branch I put the book on. And then when I get up here, I swap it out for the phone. <laughs> Nice. Am I on camera? You are on okay. camera. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are you hopping down? Yep. Okay. Whee! There he goes. Uh oh. We're being told that everything is switched and the scene isn't going to start till 2. And so we're probably not going to be able to be part of this today. So. Apparently, uh, they decided to power wash the pavilion R right now, which is, um, it is, it is not stopwatch. It is 1039. Um, on a Friday morning. Yep. Yeah. This has nothing to do with the people that are in the movie. <laughs> no, they're all great. They're all really nice and friendly and professional. It's just the... Uh, the venue decided to power wash the place where everyone is supposed to be. Like, they were going to be setting up a shot. And they decided to power wash. Without telling them. So. So they changed it and now they are starting at 2, not ending at 2. And it's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And so, he got to climb his tree. I did get to climb. I have my... You have the, tree rash. the little rash to prove it. And um, now we get to drive back home. It, I mean, it makes things... The positive side is it makes things less hectic, I guess, today. I guess. But it really sucks. And I'm going to have to... I, I texted Cameron, like one of the main actors. Mm -hmm. and um, Was today the only day that I was going to get to meet him? I doubt it. He's... He had, mm, I don't know. I'll, I'll text well, it him. depends. Like the movies are shot different ways and stuff. So yeah, Julian's supposed to be on set tomorrow as well. So mm -hmm. um, he'll have another chance to be part of this film. And it actually, she said that tomorrow is a featured. It's more of a featured. The classroom scene. Right? Role like yeah. you'll be seen. You know, mm -hmm. like you will be in a classroom. It's not just like outside in the background walking yeah. around, you know? Mm -hmm. So he'll get to, you'll get to act tomorrow. Yeah. Probably more so. So, yay. Hey, Farmer Gabe. Woo! Pretty good harvest today. A good harvest. Yay. Cornelius is going to the vet. <gasps> Cornelius. Cornelius. <gasps> Cornelius. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, bird. Hey, bird. 
Okay, we just got gas. I have Gabriel and Julian. Hello. And we are heading to Evie's house, drop him off, and then Gabriel and I are heading to Chicago for his show. Um, I don't think, I don't know if I've updated my vlog on what the plan is for this evening because it has changed a few times today. Um, my parents arrive in the middle of the night, basically. And we originally were supposed to pick them up at the airport, but since my dad got COVID, we want to um, be cautious and try not to spread, you know, any germs. And so, the plan, which is, you know, it's changed a few times between Horatio and I trying to figure out logistics and everything, but the plan as of right now, and I think this is what it's going to be, is I'm dropping Julian off, I'm taking Gabriel to his show, after his show, Gabriel and I will drive to the hotel that my parents have now uh, booked for this evening. That was a motorcycle. That was a motorcycle. <laughs> and meet Horatio there where he will drop off their car and their keys at the front desk so that they can drive home tomorrow. And I will pick up Horatio and we will come home and it will be late, but not as late as it could have been. It would have been like probably almost two o'clock in the morning when we got home, but now it'll probably be midnight. Um, which is much more manageable because now Ethan's baseball practice that is usually from 1130 to 1 on Saturdays is now a scrimmage that starts at 10 a.m. So we kind of need to sleep a little bit. And Ethan would probably appreciate people not getting home at 2 o'clock in the morning and because he wouldn't sleep. You know, he would not sleep um, without us there. We are stuck on almost Lakeshore Drive. Almost. Not quite. So, I'm thinking that everyone must be getting here for the air and water show. Because I've learned that that is happening this weekend. Um... actually saw a funny uh, post today about that. I was telling Gabriel and I think it was funny. He thinks it's funny. I don't know if you will, but um, it's so true. Somebody posted not a single person that lives in Chicago actually knows when the air and water show is. We find out the week of <laughs> and it's true. Whenever I lived in Chicago I, nobody ever knew when it was. Nobody ever looked it up or anything, but it was like, no, I don't know when that is. It's, it should be coming up sometime. <laughs> and then there would be fighter jets flying through the city and the Blue Angels would be doing all of these, like, practice things. And, and it's pretty amazing. Alright, Red Hot Chili Peppers. There's a concert. That's why we got stuck in traffic. And also a car exploded. Yeah, yeah. There was a car explosion on Lakeshore Drive. We didn't see it explode, but the car was like just totally black and wrecked. And the road is was melted. So, yeah. But we made it. <laughs> People clapped for you. Again. Wasn't that cool? It's, it, it never gets old. <laughs> And I mean, they clapped for him outside of the theater, like when he walked out. Oh, he's got a pizza. That guy has a pizza from the place that we want to go. We're going to go there soon. There were people <laughs> cheering for me from last performance, taking a walk. Yeah, people They're taking like, a walk. I saw you last performance. Great job. <laughs> You're famous in the neighborhood. I mean, it's like, look at me. Just like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> famous kid coming through. We are home, and um, it is the next day, and um, after my last clip, 
I don't even remember what the last clip was before this, but I think it was us walking to the car. After that, we went to a Burger King close to where the theater is. And I think there were only two people working in the Burger King. So it took a very long time to get the food. And they didn't put any of my food. <laughs> so I did not get charged for it either. So I don't understand how they didn't hear that I wanted food. But it took so long just to get the other stuff that I would was not going to... It didn't matter. I, I didn't need food. Um, so, it didn't matter. I, didn't <laughs> I ate peanut butter crackers out of Gabriel's lunch bag that he takes with him. And um, then we started driving. I'm telling a narrative. It, it was quite a night. Where we were walking, or we were not walking, we were driving. Wow, I'm tired. Um, we're driving down Lakeshore Drive. And as soon as we got by the Field Museum, it was like bumper to bumper, brake lights everywhere. And then we got south of there, and there were cop flashing lights. You could see there were like cop cars that were blocking two lanes of Lakeshore Drive. It was a bottleneck. It was terrible. The concert was letting out. But that was not the only reason why there was traffic. There were people walking on Lakeshore Drive. They were walking on Lakeshore Drive. And there were these people standing on one of the bridges there. I don't know what was happening. It was so strange. And so then <laughs> we made it to the hotel where my parents are going to be staying tonight. And parked and then a few minutes later Julian and Horatio arrived in my dad's car and so then we all met up and we came home did anything else exciting happen I'm trying to think if there was anything else exciting that happened oh yeah oh yeah the, uh, the exciting thing that happened, possibly. I'm pretty sure I got a ticket. I was turning, the light had just turned red and I turned onto the ramp to go to um, the expressway. I did not see any sign. I even, I even looked to see if there was a sign that said no turn on red. I did not see one. And as I was going down the ramp, I saw a flash. So I am pretty sure I got a ticket and that will be coming in the mail for me. <laughs> Yay. Final clip. Uh, uh, but two seconds in. Yes, this is like two seconds after the last clip. Um, I'm not even going to talk about tomorrow because it's dizzying. There is so much that could be going on. So I need to get sleep. So until tomorrow.